Okay, friends, this is my video for how to disguise my gray hair growing out. One of my favorite hats that I wore like round the clock all the time. And just to have fun, I would change it up. And you know, if you really want to go incognito, get a hat with a big brim. Of course, a baseball hat. All kinds of color and sizes. And for dress up, there's even hats for that. Don't forget, you can also go with fancy little barrettes. Baseball caps come in all sizes and shapes. And here's a picture of my old glasses and my hat. Hi everybody. Happy weekend to you. Um, today I am going to do, uh, this video is dedicated to um, a request. And the request has been, what type of hats? Could I show you what types of hats I wore during my transition period of growing my hair out to gray? So those of you that have been following me, you know that I cut my hair into a very short pixie cut. And um, first of all, hello to my subscribers and hello to anybody new. Um, welcome. And um, again, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And uh, if you need to give it a thumbs down because you don't like it, I'd like to hear those comments too because I'm interested. I'm always interested in um, improving my videos. Uh, I'm just really kind of uh, new at all of this, so I am not a professional, but I do try to put out good um, content and it seems like... Um, you see the majority of uh, my uh, viewers seem to like what I'm posting so this has been a request and it's been a request for more than you know just one person um, could I show some of the hats I wore or how I wore my hats so today's video is going to be exactly that and I'm also going to just give a couple of ideas or suggestions of how to put your hair up um, to do the best you can to disguise it. So it's not just a matter of picking a hat, but it's also a matter of um, like maybe accentuating um, other places like on your face or with jewelry, um, you know, a nice kind of bold lipstick just to take the focus off of what's really bothering you and that is the growth period or anyways it does to a lot of people so let's kind of get started so for those of you who have been with me and the new ones let me just give a little briefing um, when I transitioned I did two things that I think were um, very important well I'm gonna say three. First of all I made the decision that I am going to do this no matter what um, I didn't really ask for permission from anyone. <laughs> um, I knew there was going to be pros and cons on it because everybody's very free about giving you their opinion as they start to see your hair growing out. Um, so I made the decision, okay, I'm doing this. And I like jumped in. I'm just doing it. I went for a consult to a hairstylist, actually a colorist, because I had a couple of options I was considering. Maybe I could just have my hair dyed to the gray and then allow it to come in naturally that way. Um, that's number one. Number two, and um, number three for me, uh, the end result after going to the um, for the consult um, ended up being, okay, what's the best way for me to do this? And for me, my choice was to cut it short into a pixie. Why? Because it really bugged me, the line of demarcation. The growth in this portion of your hair here where your um, part is, uh, I just, I didn't like it and so I had worn my hair in a short a-line bob for years and years and years always kept the back stacked really short and then let it grow out a little bit short and then I started to just kind of cut my hair and then I got it to where you know it was a really cute short haircut you know I liked it but it covered my ears and stuff and then when I decided to go in full force it was okay I'm going to do the pixie cut now 
as I've stated before, that was the best choice for me. That's what I chose to do. Uh, did I like the cut? No, 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 no. Did I like my hair growing out? No, 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 no. All of the above for me were no. Now, some people embrace this part of it growing out. It's a new sense of freedom. It truly is. And you really don't know the effects of how nice your hair is going to feel and look once you stop putting the chemicals into it. I mean, it just gets new life. So that's the route I went. So for me, I started it off with a pixie and it was probably a little bit shorter than I wanted because my request when I went to get it cut was not to give me bangs. And for some reason, this particular guy just, you know, felt like he did magic with his fingers. He cut bangs and feathered that I, oh no, didn't like it. So I immediately started growing those back out again until I could get it into, it kind of was like an asymmetrical cut and it started to fill in that way. So along the way, what did I do to disguise it? So I have some of the hats that I wore quite a bit during that time period. Um, well, you know, before I do show you my hats, let me just kind of um, go this route so that I can put the hats on and just kind of show you. First of all, now I never did this as I was growing my hair out as I wear it this way now, but I didn't do it then because I had, like I said, a pixie. But one way to kind of hide the really broad line of demarcation, like if you have one to two inches of growth, you're definitely gonna see that along your part line. And for some people, that bugs them so much that they end up throwing the dye back on their hair. So one way is to very basic, you know, a little hair clip like that. Um, and then a good teasing comb that you have. Ooh, that's a little poofy. And just take the portion of your hair if you have long hair. And this mostly is for those that have bang, um, who have their bangs grown out the same length as their hair. Um, but if you don't and you want to start training it, do the same thing. And what I do now, because I wear my hair back a lot, is just give it a rough tease and bring up the portion that you want. I do just a little semi twist and then just a little poof and then I put the clip in the back. So what it does is it just kind of hides your part line and then it does show some of your growth here but because it's poofed up and it's together it looks more uniform. And so will you show a little bit here? A tiny bit but that depends on you as to how much you want to bring up. So if you want to bring it all up, then bring it all up. Then you're going to start to see where the growth is coming in. Now, everybody's hair growth is different. A lot of people start getting the grays on the underneath side. So when they flip their hair upward, you can start to see the growth. Some people, their hair remains dark on the underneath side and it starts coming and filtering in this way. Now, when I had my hair short, and trust me, it drove me crazy because my hair was cut over my ears. This temple portion here was the most coarse and the grayest. That was hard to cover up, really hard to cover up because it started to get so hard that, you know, if I went like this to put it behind my ear the little bit, it was just all gray and then the rest of this was dark. So that didn't work so well for me um, along those lines. So let me just take this down. And something else that you can do, um, well, I took it down, but let me get it back up again. Um, and let's just say you just want to bring half of it up. Like I say, just give it a quick, you know, little boofy. You can see I'm not doing anything special here, but just a quick little boofy uh, tease. And again, I'll put it back up in a clip and then just take a little... Uh, you know kind of hair tie thing and bring your hair behind 
And if your hair is long enough, then just put it back and put it in a ponytail. And it, you can also decorate your ponytails with these little bands that they have now. You can wear a regular straight band and you can really, if you use a little bit of hairspray and tease it as much as you want, see you can really poof it up. So here's the thing with this, okay? It's just back in a little ponytail. You can put a barrette back there. I mean, it's they're so popular, especially now. You know, they've got some really pretty jazzy ones with the stones and the pearls and all of that. Um, but what you're doing is taking the emphasis off of your face. And like I said, do it up as much as you want. I'm gonna try to just poof it up here. For you do it up as much as you want but here's the thing this part then is mostly taken back who cares what's going on back there you don't really have eyes in the back of your head anymore right because your kids are all grown remember how we used to tell them I got eyes in the back of my head well you're not seeing what's going on there you're really just kind of seeing here but if you concentrate on maybe some you know bigger statement pieces of jewelry if that's what you like or some big earrings I mean hoop earrings with short hair if you've cut it um, or your hair back really does a lot so here's my bracelet I just had it here so let's just say look at these hoops it adds a lot to what's what you're you know it adds a lot so the emphasis then becomes the earrings or the statement piece here and it really kind of takes the focus off of your hair so I also think a pretty lipstick now lipstick is a matter of your choice so a bold lip and the emphasis on your eyebrows if you're a makeup person um, or some newer frames now when I was transitioning um, I did have a pair of uh, bigger glasses and I'm I'm sure I have videos with those glasses and they were gray I felt like if I bought a gray toned frame that would kind of help that blending in and maybe the emphasis wouldn't be so much on you know what was going on in the outgrowth time that process so that is something that um, you can do and also if your hair is long enough and you like to wear it up and I'm just doing this really fast guys um, another way to wear your hair is in like a messy bun okay just put it up there yes it's you've lifted that back portion I'm just gonna put a little clip in here and then you can tease that up you can spray it you can do whatever you want to keep it in place and then decorate now look at how cute this is this is really a big broad statement if you wanted to you could put it up there but then I think you're just gonna look like a little bit too much of little house on the prairie or you can attach it to the back and let me just get it back there and I'll turn around and see I think you can see you get the idea idea of it it's just uh, a bow and then you can do this any way you want if you wanted to you could just tease it spray it and wear it in what is pretty fashionable now the messy bun and if you don't want to do the messy bun and you want to go uh, a little more conservative then uh, tie it up in a regular bun and then you have your little bow in the back and so you know you're making peace with what's going on with the rest of your hair so I think that especially now there's just um, so many fun hair pieces that are out on the market that um, you know can just do a whole bunch with your hair now and so I've read so many comments from women about 
you know, I'm just not comfortable. I don't want to cut my hair, but I, you know, I don't like it growing out. And then there's other women who have just said, I'm enjoying every bit of it and I'm growing it out. And, you know, I'm almost there. And I have seen women with super long hair and like gray down to here. And then the rest is what they've been trimming up, but it's their dyed hair color. So it just depends on where you're at and what you like. These were a couple of the um, hair bands that I wore a lot during my time of transition. So let me take my glasses off so I don't end up knocking them all over. Love this. Ooh. And even when my hair was short, I was able to wear it and it had this cute little you know gathering here and so when my hair was short I wore this a lot of times and just you know I even though my hair was short I would just poof it up this way and then just cover the top you know every any which way and just spray it so because it was short it would kind of be a little spiky but there I had that on and of course I didn't have all that hair so basically what you're seeing is the hairband so I had several hair bands uh, that I wore during that t time quite a bit and um, and this was another really cute one and this was an adjustable one and this looked really cute let me see if I can with the short hair because it was a oh, I have hair all over my face sorry because it was adjustable and had this little bandana on it and um, basically I did the same thing I just wore it so that you know it just kind of blended in and that's the way it basically looked with the short hair and sometimes I would bring the bang area down because I was growing them back out and just have the little band on so again it was um, black and kind of a cream colored white so it blended in with my hair and um, kind of just added maybe a little evenness to it so I didn't feel like um, you know it was just there sticking out Whew, just had a little sneezing uh, issue <laughs> um, and like I said, there's just so many cute um, products out on the market. Hair bands, twists, um, clips in all varieties, big, small, little, um, fancier bows. You know, just I wore, um, I didn't wear anything like this when I had pixie hair because otherwise I, I just think I would have just looked like Nellie on Little House on the Prairie and that's not really a good look for a 60 plus year old woman so now to the hats okay so let me show you one of my favorite hats this one look how cute that hat is and with short hair I'm gonna dig out a picture I'm sure that I have online and I think in the picture um, you may see I have my gray bigger glasses on and so just with that combination and I wore this hat a lot it saved me a lot going out now of course you can see the hat is super cute but I did not have uh, this hair so basically it was this and I always felt like okay so you could see a little bit here of the growing out but again the design of the hat and what was coming out here just kind of all blended together so um, I wore this a lot I mean I wore it so much I remember my son saying once mom stop doing videos with that hat on it's ridiculous <laughs> that was just my cue to keep on going because I love this hat and so um, also again for me the bold lip I just think it takes the emphasis off of you know okay are you hiding something do you want to hide something but I love this hat now yeah it's not a summer hat so but boy once the uh, fall rolled around I wore this all the time all the time um, so I love that hat and then of course your typical baseball caps you know this one just happens to have a little flower on it and again you know I'm just trying to give you the the 
look of how I looked because my hair was pixied and always the bigger earrings you know like I said okay I'm pretending my bracelets a hoop but you see the bigger hoop or dangles it just you've got a hat on but what you're looking at is you know the bigger jewelry and um, you're just kind of hiding and look even if you do have your hair growing out and you don't want to cut it so flip it up and put your ponytail through the little holder there who cares what that looks like I mean you know and then again there's just all kinds of different baseball capish looking hats this was another favorite I wore this hat a lot this was a nice excuse me three two one this was a really nice summer hat to wear um, I liked it it was comfortable it was cool it had these cute little decorations on it and you know so think about like maybe what you have on a, a bright t-shirt a white t-shirt or you know maybe some other t-shirt that has some daisy flowers on it or yellow or something to match up so that again you're taking the focus off of your hair and you're covering up what you don't like now are these hats that I've shown office appropriate it just depends I guess on where you work and what the rules are but you know if I was growing my hair out while I was working at the hospital uh, yeah no I couldn't wear this I could wear it in but you know I had to wear a hat anyway so I think it would have resolved a lot of growing out issues like when I was there because my hat, hair was always covered up my head um, because we had to wear you know surgical caps and then another favorite so my top favorites are right here the, these two and then these and I did have several of these um, I think I have a couple outside because um, I got them wet when we did a little swimming so they're drying but they're just visors your head yes it is still exposed I get that however if you are wearing it and you have longer hair then again you can tie your hair back if that's what you want or you can just this is great to cover that line of demarcation up it doesn't show as much or you can just bring your hair forward you know like if you're going out tease it up a little give it a quick spray and just go like that wear your hat you can wear your hat out every time you're out grocery shopping shopping at a store or whatever because it's just a visor and it's always good to protect your face from the sun so yeah I get that this part is still exposed but when you have a visor on you're looking at the visor you're not really looking at your hair and then if you truly are having a super bad um, you know gray day I called them the blue the blue gray days then get yourself a awesome big beach hat and wear it whenever you want wherever you want however you want again with no hair or a pixie this is what you're gonna see so make it your own flip it up you don't have to be at the beach to wear a hat you can wear a hat out if you're going shopping put something on it it's just a statement then you don't have to look at your hair and neither does anybody else if that's what you're concerned about and this is a lighter textured summer hat and these were a little bit um, these were great to keep the Sun off of you um, but you can see it has a really big brim and you can flip it up but this is more like I wore this a lot in the fall when it was uh, cooler out and you know it would rain but um, you know if you really just want to cover everything up and you want to go incognito these hats are awesome because nobody will recognize you or see you so that's another way of hiding your hair and then I have another one in khaki and I bought these when we took a trip to um, where'd we go I think Virginia Beach yeah and I bought a couple of hats because I wore them all the time so I keep the Sun off of my face and um, but I also wore these a lot when I was just you know because look when you have short hair it's really kind of important to wash it almost every day otherwise it's my hair was just flat and limp and while it was going through this transition 
it was just like acting kind of crazy. I thought by cutting it, you know, super short, it would take, but uh, no, it just like, it, it was just like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're cutting me. You're not dyeing me. I need dye. Give me hair dye. So it had a mind of its own during that time. So I did whatever I had to do to make myself feel better. And if it's office environment, um, situation, then the best thing I think is to brush it back. Brush it back. Um, even if you're not used to wearing your hair back, poof it up as much as you can if you're going to let your hair grow out. Tease it up and just kind of take that focus off of like what you might have like from here to here as outgrowth. At least if you're doing this, you're still blending some of your own color and it's bringing in the new and I think that is a good way to um, kind of uh, help disguise your hair along the way and also um, I think these big thick bands can really make a statement and again you know you can just put it back wear it behind your ears and you know give it a little zhuzh or poof up and just wear it like that so that when you're looking at it you're seeing your headband and not so much you know the growth so that's it guys that's all I have and uh, outside of just saying if you make this decision be patient with it and um, you know, just do whatever you have to do. I've uh, done other videos on, um, you know, emphasizing your lips, your eyes, um, use jewelry, um, just to take the focus off of whatever it is that's bothering you. But whatever it is, know this. It is very true that this is not a trend. This is the natural way that we can age. And it is the natural way to age gracefully. And it's really, you know, when you do and you don't go against what you're, oh, okay, wait. Yes, it's fun to dye your hair. Yes, it is fun to go, I'm gonna pick this color or that color. But over the years, it's almost become so abusive to your hair that it just starts to dry out, get brittle, not act, you know just start to act out because it doesn't like what you're doing and then it's just sprouting to say I want to be born again I want new life again and that new life comes with the naturalness of your gray whether it's salt and pepper whether it's white or silver whatever it's very freeing and the end results are just so worth the journey no matter what the pain is. If you have no pain with it, great. If you're embracing all of it, yes, and get out there and encourage other women. And just know, yep, it's not a fad. And uh, it's just a part of change in your life. And you know, sometimes this color change comes in your 30s. So it's not about getting old. And there's just that stigma with you know, associating old people with gray, white hair. Some people are prematurely gray at a very young age. And so it's just all about what makes you um, feel good. So it's not a fad. It's not like you're doing this because you want to be in this fad style. It's because you want to give new life to your hair and you want to experience the freedom that comes with it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until I see you again in my next video, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye. Enjoy your grow out. So headbands, hats, baseball caps, barrettes, bandanas, whatever. It's your choice. It's up to you. If you just want to go natural, then just go natural. But just remember, it does have an end.